Hey everyone, it's Compelled. Thank you for watching this video. This video is going to be about how to control your Mac with your Wiimote. And yes, I actually mean your Nintendo Wii controller. I'm sure there are other videos out there like this, but this is a test video to see how many Mac viewers I actually have and if I should keep doing videos on the Mac. Okay, so <clears throat> the things that you'll need are a, a Bluetooth enabled Mac, okay? It can be any kind of Mac as long as it has Bluetooth compatibility. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is a Wiimote. Now, I would not recommend going out and buying a Wiimote just for this uh, experience or just for this video. Uh, if you have a if you have a Wii, then I mean, hey, it's something cool to try out. If you don't, then don't even worry about it. I mean, it's not that important. This is really just uh, I don't know, just something that geeks like to do. I don't know, just something new. Okay. Alright, the third thing you're going to need is a program called Darwin Remote. If you don't have this program, which most likely you won't, the link will be on the side of the video. And go ahead and download it and you'll be right up to date where I am. Everything will be grand. Okay, <clears throat> let me actually put it here. Actually, I actually already have it open. So what you want to do is locate Darwin Remote and click it. Alrighty then. It should open up a program that looks something like this, all right? <clears throat> now, what you want to do is go ahead and in the box right here, it's going to say, uh, press the Find Wiimote button, which is right there. Press the Find a Wiimote button and press the one and two buttons simultaneously, which means press these two buttons at the same time to enable sync mode, I guess you could say. All right. Now, the first thing I want to do, though, is go down to System Preferences and make sure this is all clear. Okay, so go to System Preferences and go to Hardware Bluetooth. Okay, if you don't have that, then you most likely don't have Bluetooth. So, yeah. Okay, so go to Bluetooth, and if you have something in here, which mine says Nintendo RVLCNT01, you're going to want to go down to this negative button. And the negative button will be right here, and it'll delete, what does it say? It will uh, delete the selected device, okay? So, it has to be clear, okay? Your Bluetooth thing has to be clear of all Nintendo devices. So, I'm going to go ahead and press the minus button and click remove. Now, it's clear. Now, we are good to go. All right. <clears throat> now, we're going to click find Wiimote which is right there, that button that I was talking about right there. And I'm going to click the one and two buttons at the same time. One and two buttons simultaneously. And there you go. <clears throat> oh, lost connection here. Let me go back down to the system preferences, go to Bluetooth, and remove that. Remove. And find the Wii mode again. Press them. And there you go. My connection is established with the Wii. You can see as I move the Wiimote around, you can see this graph right there is responding, and it's showing you pretty much all the measurements of the X uh, accelerator, or acceler I don't know, accelerometer, accelerator, the Y accelerometer, accelerometer, and the Z accelerometer. Okay, so that's basically just measuring all the movement. Now, that's pretty basic, right? Now, okay, you don't see the mouse moving around on my screen. To enable your... Uh, Wiimote to control your Mac, what you have to do is go up here, if you see up there, to the Darwin Remote setting, or yeah, the Darwin Remote setting, so you can see right here, me moving this around, go to the preferences, and <clears throat> on the Wiimote, go ahead and right here, you should have the A button. Okay, you can set every button to a different command, but for now I'm just going to set the A button to left click. Alright, so click the A button, drop down menu, and look for left click. Alright, <clears throat> now we're going to click OK. Alright, so, uh, it's not really responding at all. Okay, I mean it's still not doing anything. So what you have to do is go right here to the mouse mode and select on for motion. <clears throat> now it's responding. Okay, let me let me show you here. So can you see the mouse moving there? Uh, both hands are right here. And you can see the mouse moving. Okay. So <clears throat> how does this work? When you move the Wiimote up, the cursor
cursor goes up. When you move it down, the cursor goes down. It all depends on how, uh, how, like you see it moving right there. All right, it all depends on how much you put it up. That's the speed it'll go up. If you put it down like really rapid, the cursor will move rapidly down. Okay. Now to go left to right, what you have to do is tilt the Wiimote like that. That's the left, and this is right. It's not that hard. It just takes a bit to get used to, okay? All right, so once you have practiced moving the Wiimote around, you have the cursor thing down, which I don't, by the way, but once you do, you can now, as we set the A button to, uh, you know, the left click, we can now move windows around with your Wiimote, okay? I don't know if I have an internet connection here, but <clears throat> let me try it and see. Open up Safari. <clears throat> oh, there's Google. There you go. So I do have it. And I can go ahead and go to Images, Google Images. It's loading. But there you go, that's controlling my Mac with the Wiimote, okay? Now, you can set all of these buttons to different commands, I don't know. Go ahead and mess around with it, but for now, that's it. Whoops, for speed back, let's turn that sucker off. We'll turn the mouse mode off. Okay, <clears throat> so that's basically that. Now let's plug in uh, the Wii Nunchuck. Alright. This is the Wii Nunchuck here. Nothing too big. We're gonna plug it into the Wiimote. And right away, we'll see right here something happen, okay? On the screen. So just go ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Plug in? Oh, okay. Turn out on the other side, I guess. Let's see here. Maybe. Whatever. <coughs> well, because the Nunchuck also has motion sensors in it, you can see another graph, a completely new graph made for okay so as I move the nunchuck around you can see that going on I can move them both at the same time and yeah they're both responsive okay just go ahead and mess around with this I guess <clears throat> let me see if I can grab my thing here okay see that little dot there as I move my nunchuck uh, thing my joystick that moves around <coughs> excuse the coughing I'm sick <clears throat> all right so that's basically all you can do with a nunchuck. It's nothing too big. Here, I'll move the nunchuck around. There you go. It's the graph. Move the Wiimote around. There you go. So nothing too big there. And again, I think you can set the nunchuck to have its own commands also. OK, so let's go ahead and disconnect the nunchuck here. Let's see it. Go away. All right, so let me plug in the Wii Classic controller. And you'll also see another graph thing pop up. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Boom. All right, so that's that. Um, as I press the buttons, you can see them, I guess, light up. Say. As soon as I press the button, <clears throat> they all light up. So I don't know. Yeah. That's basically the Wiimote synced with your Mac, and you can also control it. So thank you for watching this video. Sorry it wasn't too too hardcore. Uh, I really don't know much about Macs. I mean, it's the same thing as a Windows. It's just, you know, different operating system. So I don't know what else there is to show. I don't know. I'll probably try to find some programs. It all depends on how many views this video gets. If this video gets, uh, you know a good amount of views, then I will probably make more videos on the Mac. If it doesn't, then I probably won't. I don't know. Okay, thank you for checking out this video, guys. <clears throat> this has been Comp Help. If this video helped you in any way, if it was interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, go ahead and add me as a friend. I'm, I'm more than happy to, you know, get more friends. I have about 5,000 subscribers, but only around 1,300 friends. What's up with that, guys? So, go ahead. Add me as a friend. I'm always happy to add you to my friend list there and yeah rate this video five stars comment on the video if you have something similar if you think this video sucked then go ahead tell me i know my camera work is not that great after all i'm recording from a webcam so thank you guys bye